We don't know where we'll be next. Four 20-somethings in a show about death. We started this without any without any answers, just, just questions. And the main question being, what do you want to do before you die? But it isn't morbid. It's cool. What's up, Alton? So cool, it had teenagers screeching once they rushed into the gym at Alton High. This is pathetic. I don't want to live like this the rest of my life. I want to make something of myself. That's the premise of MTV's The Buried Life. These four friends crossing the world, crossing things off their bucket list, like asking out Hollywood stars, riding crazy contraptions down mountainsides, being a knight, making the front page of the paper, kissing the Stanley Cup. The promise, and for everything, for everything they cross off list, their list, they help a stranger cross something off theirs. You can do good in the world and have a beer with your friends at the same time, you know? Like, there's, there's an even place where you don't need to be perfect, but you can still do good things. And I think that's where we kind of come from. We're not, we're not saints, but we try to do you know, a little bit of good in the community wherever we go. And now they're in Alton, their director's hometown. Brad Tiemann ran for class president at Alton High in 1989. He lost. He's winning now. Uh, it feels really good, actually. Yeah, I feel like um, I've wanted these guys to see, you know, where I grew up for a long time because I'm really proud of Alton, so I'm glad that they're actually finally getting the chance to come here. I feel like we're not trying to save the world by any means, but it's like we're actually trying to get people to be inspired by small things. So that's why it feels good.